Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. This is going to be me showing off my sketchbooks. I have two here. So I am also an artist. I don't only cash stuff or do hauls. I started this sketchbook on April 23rd, 2021. I got this sketchbook given to me for my birthday from my boyfriend who gave me an acrylic set. So that's how I started my first sketchbook. But here we go with the first page. I sketched out some mama pictures, canvases for my mom. That was a lot of fun. I don't have the canvas with me, my mom has it. Did a Coda drawing, which is Coda from Brother Bear. And then I used some pencil crayons that I got as well to color and test on. Our next page, I did uh, fruits on a page. It was really fun. And then we flip it over and we got a little city that I started drawing, but then I got really bored. And then I have a page with some art that my auntie um, always does and yeah I just kind of doodled in that page here are the acrylic tests from um, the set my boyfriend got me another quick sketch of the blue mama bear canvas that I did I really wanted to like know what I was drawing on the canvas and then this was a acrylic painting of a bear that I did. <laughs> I really like this page and how the bear turned out. I just kind of doodle a lot in my sketchbooks, but this is a little sketch of a canvas I did for my grandmother. It needed to be of marshmallows in, in a coffee cup or tea. Uh, sorry, these are just random markers that I got and I tested. I'm really not good at drawing people, so I just kind of drew from my head. And then here is some leadership tags. And then these are the felts that I got that weren't really that good. I just put smile with me please on it because I was feeling really happy. And yeah, these were Copic markers from Amazon. And I drew a bunch of owls. I wanted to do quite a few <laughs> and filled the page. Next we have my dragonfly, my butterfly, and my bumblebee, and then a little Elmo sticker. And then these are all the Copic markers that I had or got for my birthday, and I just tested them all out on this paper. And then this was my first uh, drawing uh, with my Copic markers and I really like it. I just drew some fish and the, bl the mil blending of the markers aren't that good on this paper, but I really like these rocks down here. They're really cute. I think I did really well on them. Flipping over, it bled through, so I just added a bunch of really nice stickers that I got for my birthday as well and just put them on the page. It's really the only way I can save all my stickers, so on a few pages you'll see that. And then I wrote my boyfriend's name in blocked letters and added some cute little designs around it. My boyfriend's really brave and spontaneous, so I put that around it. And then, I don't know if this is TOS, but here are more stickers that I really like and wanted to place on the sketchbook. And then I drew this body and the three bugs again and some bunny rabbits. I'm not that good at drawing, like I said, I'm, I'm fairly new at drawing and doing art, but I enjoy it so much. And then I just drew a little sketch on the back. It's a tired little guy with some ice cream on his sick day. And then here is the blue bear that I designed in multiple different forms. I didn't know how I wanted him, but this little bear is like my favorite. <laughs> and then on this side, I drew some different looking mushrooms. I really like how this page turned out. I drew that before I colored in the bears. And I drew some cows because I really like cows. And I really wanted to draw different kind of cows. And I didn't really, I, I need a lot of inspiration when I draw, but these are the skin tones my boyfriend bought me for Copic markers and I just drew a little tree beside it. And then my boyfriend wanted me to design a cow with mushrooms, so this is what I came up with or sketched out. And then on the next page I have my sister's name. 
Her name's Ebony, but we call her Ebony. Put some makeup brushes, lips, candies, and some names. She's sweet, kind, and passionate. But I really like the gummy bear. It's really cute, and I just needed to add that. And this page, sorry, I added some stickers here. But on the next page, these were the goals me and my boyfriend when we were long distance, made up for each other. And yeah, we really just wanted to make some goals and that's our tree goals. And then I added some weird little coloring. It helps me with my anxiety. And then on the next page, we have some blobs with faces. This is my favorite thing to draw. I drew some canvases with that turning over we have more stickers on a page because i really like stickers and i don't know where to put them other than my sketchbook and here we have another body we have wings on an angel kind of lips and then like a goat and then a booty i really uh, enjoy drawing booties and then i drew an owl here and placed some more stickers on the page and then I drew some more booties, like different kind of booties. I really like these boots that I drew, or feet. I think they turned out really good. <laughs> but yeah, I used acrylic paint on some of these and Copic on some of them as well. Flipping over, we have more cow mushrooms because I really wanted to draw something for my boyfriend. He really wanted me to come up with a design for this and this is what I came up with. And then here's the final. I drew this cow with a like kind of mushroom head and then he has a bell and then mushrooms on his shirt and a pair of jeans with udders. I don't know, I felt like it was really cool. And then here we have some snakes because my boyfriend wanted me to draw a Medusa and I didn't know how to draw snakes so that's the snakes I drew. And then here's just cute candy drawings that I drew on a YouTube video or something. And then this is the Medusa drawing that I ended up finishing. I really like her teeth and her little tooth and tongue that is just so cute. And then I drew Jerry from Tom and Jerry. He was a lot of fun to draw. <laughs> and then I drew Tom. Tom was really cool. Little cat. And then we got Chucky on the next page. I really wanted to capture cartoon figures a lot. And then this one, my cousin drew a line. And then I designed something out of it, and this is what I drew. Really, really cute. I really like her a lot. I like her top and the way she's posed. I really like it a lot. And then the next page, I just drew some flowers, which is fun to draw always. And then another one of my character drawings. I really like the hair on this one and the skin color and her eyes and just how appealing it is. And this, my boyfriend drew the line. And then I drew this out of it and she turned out amazing. I really, really like how she turned out. It was a lot of fun. And next we have Daffy Duck I drew. Sorry, my camera died. Roadrunner, Taz, and Tweety Bird. Okay, yeah, Tweety Bird. I drew these guys as little characters. I did get references on them, but I really wanted to draw them in my sketchbook. And then we have a moon scene here and just like little tiny sketch things and doodles i don't know but this page ended up ripping out and i just taped it to it and this is my oldest brother's name it was this page was designed for him and all the little things that remind me of him next page is snoopy and i wanted to design a whole snoopy page for for this one i wanted snoopy all over it Next is my oldest cousin, his name is Elliot, and I designed it as space. I did not color it in because I really liked how it looked not colored in. So that's the end of this sketchbook. Uh, that's my last page in it. This one doesn't have that many because it's the one I'm currently using, but first page we have a tree with some acrylic paint and birds. Next is another little tree which is some felt not the most exciting page ever and then we have some acrylic paint just ended up using paint on these then i designed a canvas for my boyfriend's mom with this and this is the sketch for it i just used some acrylic paint and then designed it on the page and this drawing was a lot of fun i 
use shapes and stuff to make a drawing and I was really sad on that day so drawing that made it really good and then this is one of my brother's names and I designed that page for him then I drew bubbles which is the Powerpuff Girls is something I love so much so I wanted to draw each of them in different forms I think bubbles turned out amazing and then next I drew Blossom and Blossom is one of my favorites. I drew her in like my character form as well. I think she looks so cute. And I still need to draw Buttercup. And then I drew a for Futurama page. Some inspo on Google, you know. And then a f another fruit page. I love drawing fruits. Except I did not color this one, one in. I kind of got bored after a while. But now we have Rick from Rick and Morty. I still have to color this page. I just don't know if I want to do paint or Copic markers. This is where I'm starting to experience like drawing people and humans. But I draw them in my own way. And these are some of the characters I came up with. They're so adorable. And then I have these reference drawings. I think I got references from these, but I really like this one with the purple hair and band-aid. She's really cute. I like her facial expression. It makes me so happy to see. And then I drew some doggies and animals. I'm not really good at animals. I need references real bad. I'm gonna learn how to just sketch them. Moving on, we got a Spongebob page, all the different characters on it. I think I got a reference for this one too, but I drew it like from hand. And then we got some more of my own character designs, but all of these are wearing masks. We have Susie, Des, Becca, and April. Really cute. I love all of them. And next we have these two, which they're so cute. Look at them. And then we got a page dedicated to Stewie from Family Guy because my boyfriend really wanted me to draw him. And then the next page is where I freehand some live pictures on Pinterest, which I've never done, but I'm happy with the turnout because I'm still learning. And then we got some more character designs from me. Um, the one on the end I really like a lot. I like her fit. She's a little chunky in the legs, but that's okay. But yeah, this is the end of my sketchbook tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. Make sure to turn on the post notifications so you guys know the next time I post. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.